Did you know too much coffee can actually kill you? Seriously. And if you're drinking coffee right now, you might already be on your way. Let's break it down. First, what does caffeine actually do? Spoiler, it's not giving you real energy. It's hijacking your brain. Inside your body, every move, every thought burns fuel. That fuel burning makes a byproduct called adenosine. Think of adenosine like tiny exhausted workers. They head home to special parking spots in your brain, adenosine receptors. When enough spots are full, your brain says parking lot full equals bedtime. But when you drink coffee, caffeine cuts in line. It grabs those parking spots before adenosine can. Result? Your brain thinks, we're fresh, let's party. Meanwhile, your body's like, dude, we're dying. But wait, there's more. Caffeine boosts your dopamine levels a little. The same feel-good chemical you get from winning a game or eating a donut. Not crazy levels like hard drugs, but enough to feel good. Plus, caffeine activates your fight or flight system, your body's ancient panic button. That's why your blood pressure spikes, your heart races. Your body's basically hey, like, whoa. something's trying to eat us. Even if all you're doing is sipping a cappuccino, then caffeine wears off. The tired workers flood back in. All the adenosine your body was holding off, bam, you crash, brutally. Dopamine drops, blood pressure dips, energy equals non-existent. That's the famous caffeine crash. Feels like you got hit by a truck, and if you hit caffeine daily, your brain fights back. It builds even more adenosine receptors, meaning you need even more caffeine just to feel normal. Welcome to caffeine addiction level two. Okay, so, can caffeine actually kill you? Technically, yes, but it's extremely rare. You'd need about 10 to 14 grams of caffeine, roughly 80 to 100 cups of coffee in a very short time. Most caffeine deaths happen from high-dose pills or powders, not your everyday lattes. So unless you're trying to speedrun espresso shots, you're safe. Just maybe. Don't chug a gallon of Red Bull. Learn something new? Smash that like button. And if you want to save me from drinking 80 cups of coffee, buy me only just one at the link below. And hey, what's your caffeine limit? Three cups? Five cups? Full on monster four drip? Drop it in the comments. I'm dying to know. Subscribe for more brain breaking facts. Or don't. But then you'll miss out and I'll cry into my coffee.